ClickUp project management tutorial, how to use ClickUp for project management. Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial today, we're going to do a deep dive into ClickUp. ClickUp is an online project management tool and it is one of the most widely used tools in terms of free tools online. ClickUp is highly rated with multiple different types of workspaces available, all for free. So let's get started with our ClickUp sign up. To get started, simply head on over to ClickUp.com and click on sign up on the top right. Once you do that, you're going to input your email address and then you can proceed with how you want to use your workspace. So I'm going to be creating a new workspace from where we're going to proceed. So first off, whenever you create your account on ClickUp, you have a default workspace, which is going to be your personal workspace. I don't encourage anyone to use their personal workspace as a team workspace because it can be really complicated. So this is my personal workspace. I have only one workspace. On the top right, you will see my account and account name. Now to proceed with my business, I will click on new workspace on the bottom left and then I will add the reason for me to create this workspace. So after that, once you've inserted the reasons in your industry, it will ask you to invite the people that you want to invite into your workspace. I'll just invite another version of myself or, you know, another one of my own accounts to click up and then just click on invite. After that, you're going to choose if you are already using any pre-existing tools for project management and you can import data from there onto ClickUp. If not, click on next. Once you've done that, it's time to actually add your workspace name. So for us, this is going to be Pink Sakura and then I can click on next. Now, once we have created our workspace, it's time to build different segregations. Now, one thing to note is that ClickUp has a hierarchy of different boards and tasks. So firstly, you will have a workspace. Within a workspace, you can create different folders. Each folder can have different lists or boards. Now, every list is going to have its own tasks and you can categorize tasks based upon their statuses as well. Now that we understand that, another really important thing to note is that if I have any data from Pink Sakura that I want to import to my personal workspace, I cannot do that. So data is not interchangeable within different workspaces, but if I have this space on my you know, workspace and I have another space on there, I can interchange data or import data from each board to the next. So let's get started with setting up our first you know, business workspace on ClickUp. Now, the first thing you're going to do is on the bottom left, you have the space section from where you can click on create space and you can create a area where people can begin their work. So let's say this is going to be our Instagram marketing or Instagram management like this. Below that, you can also add a description and make it private as well. Now, after that, you're going to define your workflow. Whether it's for everyday tasks, for marketing teams, project management, product engineering, if the task scope is not listed over here, just go with the starter one and you can customize this later. I'm going to go with the marketing teams one because it fits pretty well with the alignment of my tasks. You will see the default views are list, board, calendar, and team. Below that, we have our task statuses. So we have backlog, planning, in progress, ready for review, and approved, rejected, on hold. Then the closed statuses are done. Now, if I have another, you know, section where I want to add another type of uh, task over here or another type of list in my board. So for that, I can click on add status. And let's say this is going to be a not started status where I have inspiration. I can add that over here and I'll add that as another gray status. So I'm going to add that as the first status that is present. So any inspiration or ideas can be inserted over here. And ClickUp categorizes all statuses into four basic components, such as not started, active, done, and closed. Now, the difference between done and closed is that once you close the task, it basically gets removed from your primary workspace. Whereas tasks that are only marked as done are only going to be marked as done, but still will remain at the forefront of your space. So if you have a monthly reset, 
So at the end of every month, everything that is in all these three done statuses gets moved to the closed status because obviously the time for any changes has now been passed. Click on apply changes over here and then you can go with your click apps. Now this means the different applications that you want to use in ClickUp. For me, priority, setting priorities, emails, custom fields, time tracking, remaps of tasking, sprints, tags, multiple assignees, time estimates are all necessary. But for certain teams, these might not be so. If they are not necessary, so if setting up tags for your posts isn't necessary, you can just uncheck this option. Once you have done that, you can even click on show more to take a look at some of the other task-based applications that are present. If you need all of these, just proceed and then click on create space. Now our first space on our workspace has been created. Within a workspace, you have a space and within that space, I can create different lists. So you will see, first I can click on list and this is going to be, let's say for my uh, clothing brand, clothing brand over here. And I'm just going to insert that. And now I have a list for my clothing brand where I can add, you know, different types of tasks related to that. So if I click on the list over here, you will see the option to add items in a backlog. To make this easier to add, I like to navigate to the board view from the top left section. Once you open up the board view, you will see all of the different statuses that you have. So if you forgot to add something and you've already started planning that, you can directly add that task in planning. Even within my Instagram management, I have my clothing brand and I can create a separate space for another brand that I might be working on. So let's say that I have another brand I'm working on. For that, I would click on create and I would create a new list. This list might be to reflect my, let's say, phone case brand. And then I can segregate the Instagram handling I have to do for that. Now, if I want, I can create another space that can manage things like Twitter or X. Or if you're doing any other different scope of task, and you can categorize those different scopes as different segments or spaces. Now, let's proceed with actually creating tasks on ClickUp. To do this, we're going to click on clothing brand on the bottom or our phone case brand, and then I can click on board. To add a task, simply click on add task over here. Once you do that, you can add your task name. So let's say I have to generate ideas to present our iPhone 15 case series like this. Now, once I have put in the basic backlog, obviously this is, um, let's say it's to generate uh, captions to present our iPhone 15k series, I can open up this task. Now, once you open up a task, you can set a due date like so, and you can also add a assignee. The best part about using ClickUp is that you can add multiple assignees, especially when you're working in a team settings and more than one people are working on one individual task. Now, once you've done that, you can also set the priority of a task whether it's normal, low, high, or urgent. Then you can also start time tracking. Now, this is a feature especially only reserved for when you need to do your time tracking and then your employee payday or payroll with time management. So if you want to do payroll with time management, you can always track the time it takes you to complete a task. Your employees can. And then you will see the number of hours or the number of minutes they've spent in completing a individual task. Now on the left, you will also see the due date and below that a time estimate. You can add a estimation of how long you expect a task to take. So let's say this is going to be 10 hours or let's say this is going to be six hours like this. So I'm going to add that and below that you can also add different tags. Now, tags are highly customizable, and these are really going to be super, super different depending on the niche or business industry that you are in. If you are in a business industry where you want to categorize things based on your client, you can do that as well. If you want to categorize things based on the platform you're going to post them in, you can do that as well. I want to tag them based on maybe the uh, type of content it is. So this is going to be photography content like this. 
Now below that, I can also add descriptions and you can even write with AI because AI is integrated into ClickUp. You can also create custom fields as well as different subtasks. So for my captions, I might have a subtask to maybe find different emojis that fit well with the captions or to have a rhyming caption, write a poem caption, and you can also create checklists. Now checklists and uh, subtasks are very similar. A lot of people like to use these hand in hand, but there's a slight difference. Checklists are really, really specific things. So a task that might say something along the lines of um, to attend a meeting and the checklist for that meeting might say to take XYZ presentation file to drive to that particular place. So that is what a checklist is. A subtask is usually slightly larger. So maybe to present a presentation in that meeting, that would be a subtask. It's really up to you how you want to define these in your business and how they're going to operate for you. Below that, you can also see any comments that a task receives as well as attach any files. This is really important because when you're working in marketing and you are working with multiple different team members, you definitely do need access to a lot of files and sometimes that is not easy to do so. However, having all those files attached in the task you're completing is super effective to do. Now, once a, you know, task has moved in, you know, is moving forward, I can move it like this and it's moved to the next status. Now, if this is in progress, I can move it over here. So I can move this over here if it's ready for review, if it has been approved or rejected. And if it is done, I can move it in the done section like so. So in this way, you can manage your tasks on ClickUp. Now, this is just task management, but there is a lot more you can do for a business in ClickUp. To do all that, you can click on inbox on the top left. From here, you will receive any messages that are sent to you on ClickUp. Below that, you have a segregated docs section. So in your docs section, you can create things like a team hub, knowledge base, company home, and team or company wiki. Although these things might seem really, really small at first, if you actually create a company knowledge base, that can actually reduce the time it takes for everyone to do what they are doing. I most definitely do recommend creating a knowledge base, especially if you are building softwares, if you are in the customer service agency, or if your team has a lot of interaction, one-on-one -on -one interaction with customers. So in that particular situation, having a knowledge base that they can access wherever they are can help them in deducing answers more easily. And you can create any other type of doc over here simply by clicking on create doc. This might include your SOPs, your requirements, your bare minimum expectations, or any other information that you want to disseminate to your employees. Now, moving on towards our dashboards. Now, dashboards are something that you're going to find only on the business plan on ClickUp, and we will be discussing the pricing later on but you can still create a simple dashboard for a space. So this is for my clothing brand and you will see all the tasks, the unassigned, in progress, completed activity, the number of tasks you've completed this week and other data will be displayed. These are not that customizable and I don't think they're really something to be noteworthy in the free version of ClickUp. However, if you just want an overview, if you have a manager that is going to oversee all of the work that is happening, then having access to these types of dashboards can help people in just getting a brief overview. So if you're working with clients and they just want to know how far along have their tasks come, they can easily view them in the form of dashboards. Now, keep in mind that you can do guest invitations on ClickUp, but that is only limited to three guests per member. Now, moving on to our next section, which is our whiteboard section. Now, this is such an amazing section to get started with brainstorming. Simply click on create whiteboard and name your whiteboard. So this is going to be brainstorm and I will click on create whiteboard over here. Once I do that, you will see that a new whiteboard will appear. Now, from here, you can import tasks. So you can add, you know, concept maps, reverse brainstorming, brain writing, and much, much more. You can also just add a simple task like this and display that over here. And you can add different lines, shapes, and ideas. So 
let's say I have maybe something like uh, dance trends. So I can add dance trends. I'm really bad at my writing, but you guys get the gist. And you can even write, you don't have to type like this. You can type in text, like dance trends. But if you're working with a iPad and you want to build a mind map for your business, instead of having to download Figma or any other third party tool, you can easily do the mind mapping on ClickUp and you will see it's super easy to access. Plus it's a great way to get started. And you can add your own images. You have a bunch of different templates you can use as well. And you can also add your own content by clicking on upload on the bottom left and then uploading your own content. You also can link different docs, websites, Figma, Google, YouTube, Google Slides, or Google Sheets as well. Now, moving on to our next section, that is goals. Now, goals are so amazing on ClickUp because whenever I've set a goal for my business on ClickUp, it just motivates all of the employees. All of them feel this need to move forward. And you're going to click on set a goal and your goals should really be realistic. So set a goal. Let's say I want to have a 10K profile views on Insta for our clothing brand. And now I can click on enter. There is obviously going to be a better way to phrase this. You can set a designated owner for a goal as well and who can access this goal. So if it's a private goal for only you or if it is going to be accessible for your entire workspace. Then you can add a end date. I always recommend adding a end date for your goal because goals that don't have an end date are really just, you know, things you're thinking about. But if you set an end date and it's a realistic goal, there's a lot of drive to complete that. Below that, you can also add a description, maybe even add the rewards that might be associated with achieving that goal for your team or your business. Then click on done on the bottom. Once you've done that, you will be able to see the goals and you can click on create a target. Now your targets are going to be miniature goals. So my miniature goals might be to get 1000 profile views by this time or get 2000 profile views by this time. And those miniature targets can help in creating small bites of happiness. And this is a form of gamification, which has been scientifically proven to increase productivity amongst adults. So if you're someone that is looking to make their tasks more interesting and people that are neurodivergent for those people as well, this is going to be a great way to keep everyone motivated on the same pace. Now below that you even have timesheets as I've discussed previously. This is just helpful in making sure that if you're logging time, logging hours, everyone is now able to log them how much time they're spending on accomplishing what task and whether or not they're billable hours or not. Now that is all you need to know about ClickUp to get started. And if you're looking to get started on ClickUp, it is absolutely free. ClickUp for free that is recommended for personal use has 100 megabytes of storage associated. With unlimited tasks and unlimited free plan members, you have access to collaborative documents, whiteboards, everything views, and much, much more. And if you take a look at their unlimited plan for only $7 per member. So keep in mind that every person is going to be paying $7 or you're going to be paying $7 for every person in your team. But you get access to things like unlimited integration, storage, dashboards, guests with permissions, can charge, resource management, agile reporting, and much more. And the business version, which is the most popular version of ClickUp, for only $12, you get access to things like Google SSO, unlimited teams, custom exports, AI compatibility, goal folders, timelines, and mind maps. And I don't think that you're going to get a better deal than what you're getting at ClickUp. Personally, it has been my favorite for a while for project management, and I have been using this on the free version, and I still find the tools to just be so perfect that you don't need to, you know, feel like you need to upgrade unless you are, you know, sizing up your business, then I would recommend their business version. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.